infusing science, technology, and friendships to create a wonderful learning environment. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to 4-H Elements. I'm Nancy Wilson. I'm here at 4-H Camp Clifton, where I went when I was a kid. I had a lot of fun, and I made a lot of friends. OSU Extension celebrates 100 years this year. Its 4-H program continues to extend knowledge to help change young people's lives. The 4-H elements have remained constant, helping youth create the formula for their success. Let's see how camp is mixing science with fun to make a dynamite formula for discovery. Well, this year's 4-H camp theme is Camptomic Bonds, and it's all about infusing science, technology, engineering, and math, and friendships together to create a wonderful learning environment for kids to learn together, work as a team, and develop science skills. All about science and the different types of science. Well, this uh, paleontology area of science, we really wanted to highlight. So we've taken small 3D wooden dinosaur puzzles and blown them up into these large plywood versions that kids can build that are almost life size. So what kids did was they did various challenges that are related to dinosaurs and archaeology and excavation and paleontology to try to see how dinosaurs are found in real life. We built this Styracosaurus all together as a team. We had to go find different clues through this field area. Bringing the kids together to focus on one goal and show what they can do when they actually work together. So the kids are really using their teamwork skills to try to fit these huge pieces together that are bigger than themselves. We were working on cooking over a fire, except instead of using your everyday camping tools that you would use if you went camping with your family, we decided we wanted to learn how to cook if we were in the wilderness and we didn't have those tools. I learned that there are a lot of different ways to cook food um, over fire and I thought it was very cool that we weren't just like wrapping them in foil, we were actually putting the different foods onto the fire itself. I didn't really know that we put like leaves over top of it, it was kind of weird. And then we put clay over it. I was kind of weirded out by the mud mixed in with the clay and thought that it would like give it flavor or something. And so we learned how to roast over a fire, how to grill, how to boil, and then how to use and make an oven. We like to give them experiences that they don't typically get in a classroom. So the grass band was a, uh, an exercise in practicing woodland awareness. As part of the awareness, we talk about seeing and being seen or not being seen in this case. And so we had one of our counselors dressed as the grass man, and we had two different teams that were scientists that were kind of like the Bigfoot hunters. You get to dress up in camo and you get to hunt the grass man. Well, the grass man was hiding like a bush. We found him and the other team was looking for us. And we ran through the trees and we brought him back to our base. Well, with the rockets, they're learning about Newton's three laws, how air pressure and the velocity behind that air pressure is going to launch those rockets a distance. And uh, certainly the aerodynamics of their rockets is going to make a difference in how far those rockets go. Well, I learned how that kind of pressure can launch a rocket like this. The amount of pressure you put into it, the higher it might go. Because that's what science is all about. I mean, it's not about, about like you do an experiment and it succeeds. It's all about like the scientific methods. You have to figure everything out. You test it. If it doesn't work, try again. Rebuild the design. I like the fact that this camp opens up your mind to new ways and new ideas. Many of our kids don't spend a lot of time outdoors with technology and television. They spend a lot of time connected to electronics, and so being out in nature, away from a cell phone, gets them up close to an environment that uh, many kids wouldn't experience if they didn't come to camp. That's my favorite thing about camp, actually, is teaching kids when they don't even realize that they're learning, like teaching them leadership and teaching them teamwork through games that they don't really understand are learning experiences until they get older. 
three essential elements to 4-H are hands-on learning experiences, leadership opportunities, and a caring adult mentor. We found that over 100 years, this has been time-tested and true. We have great research from Tufts University and positive youth development that backs up that these three key elements are what's going to make a difference in a child's life to make them a successful adult in the future. Three essential elements for 4-H is, is teamwork, uh, searching for knowledge, and taking that knowledge and becoming the responsible citizen scientist.